It's Tuesday, September 24th, 2019, and today I'm on page 66 of The Gatekeepers. The White House was still suffering from self-inflicted wounds. One problem was the President's public appearances. Stuart Spencer, Ford's re-election campaign manager, recalls that every time the President gave a speech, his poll numbers plunged. Ford would go out on the road and the tracking data would go like this, he says, pointing his thumb to the floor. We'd stay in the White House playing president and his tracking data would go like this, he says, pointing his thumb up. So I go to Cheney and say, we've got to change our strategy. He was giving these very dull, terrible speeches, recalls Cannon. And one day they wrote a line in a speech and the sentence was, and I say to you, this is nonsense. And they made a note in the speech, with emphasis. And Ford read it aloud, and I say to you, this is nonsense, with emphasis. And Cheney says, well, that's another thing we can't do, write instructions in the speech text. Ford wanted to mimic his hero, give him hell Harry Truman, with an old-fashioned whistle-stop speaking campaign. Rumsfeld and Cheney were aghast. In desperation, they called in Spencer, Ford's old friend, to talk him out of it. So the night I had to sell it to Ford, we were both beat up and tired, recalled Spencer. And I'm telling him this. Cheney is sitting there. The world wouldn't believe how quiet Cheney was in those days, the little mouse in the corner, but bright and loyal. And finally, Ford asked me, well, why not? And I said, because you're a lousy fucking candidate. Well... Cheney quits breathing, and the old man looks at me like this, Spencer says, grimacing. And then he says, oh, okay. What are you reading today?